All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dustin Bracey. I'm a data scientist with DDS Analytics, and I'd like to present an employee attrition analysis that my team and I have conducted. We're going to utilize R to study employee attrition data and find insights. And our primary purpose is to predict employee attrition and monthly salary. We want to identify some job and role specific trends along the way and make recommendations for human resources to improve their talent management process. All right, so a picture says a thousand words. I've got lots of pictures and I have a lot to get through, so I'm going to talk really fast. All right, so I'm really only looking for things with really high correlation here. So steep slopes, uh, it, the, the straight line doesn't tell me a lot, but you can see here monthly income under 5,000 is pretty steep. Uh, total working years under 10, pretty steep. Uh, something like a uh, number of companies worked is a little squiggly. Uh, that could be significant at the one or two level. Here are job specific trends, one being the lowest or worst and five being the highest or best. Uh, again, I'm looking for steep slopes here, something that's... Uh, Work-life balance of one, maybe a job involvement of one, a job satisfaction of four. Those things are, are telling me a lot more than those straight line values. Educational impact on attrition, I don't see a lot here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Job role impact on attrition, however, the sales rep is pretty significant here. So you got almost 50% of those sales reps are leaving, or you got the research director and manufacturing director. Those guys are sticking around. That only looks like one or two are maybe leaving there. Uh, and then you've got a couple like uh, lab techs and... Uh, research scientists that, that could be significant. This one isn't telling me a lot. Uh, the only one that's interesting here is marital status. You can see you've got more single people leaving than married people, but there's more married folks in the workforce, and that's interesting. All right, so what impacts monthly income? Job level, total working years, uh, what your job is. So you can see there's a couple of jobs there, job manager or the research director. Uh, those are binary values that I encoded to, to help performance in the, the Canon and the, the Naive Bayes models. Um, what about attrition, overtime, no stock, low level? Um, this one actually could be, we, can, we need to be cautious with this one because we're going to have to look a little deeper. Overtime, no stock, and low level look like they could be collinear, which tells me, you know, my low level employees are probably the ones working overtime and they're probably not getting stock options. So those might be uh, all telling me the same thing there. And so we might have to dig a little deeper at, uh, you know, something like uh, uh, whether or not they're involved or they're new to the role. The linear regression correlatric matrix for the monthly salaries, however, tells me a lot. So this is telling me monthly income is 95% correlated with job level and 78% correlated with total working years. The job role is a little bit harder to read there. You've got those two high, the high ones uh, are probably your research directors and the manufacturing director and those low levels are probably our one level, level one employees. All right, so I want to evaluate. I've got four models to get through and I want to look at three specific metrics, the overall accuracy, Sensitivity tells me how, uh, how often we correctly predict attrition. Specificity tells me how often we correctly predict retention. Machine learning, uh, KNN, the uh, K nearest neighbors is the first model I want to look at. I ran this iteration, uh, 50 iterations, and I've got an average accuracy. I've got average metrics in the bottom right corner. Sensitivity of 66% is really good. That means I've correctly predicted, you can see there in the reference, I correctly predicted one is attrition, uh, 12 attrition cases out of 18, uh, so six were misclassified, uh, and then I correctly predicted 25 instances of retention, and we misclassified 28. Uh, Naive Bayes uh, performs a little bit better in the accuracy and sensitivity departments, but not as good in specificity. This one works a lot better for categorical variables or text and uh, natural language and that such. Fast naive Bayes is the same algorithm. I'm just using binary features only. So those one hot encoded, you know, I'm a, I'm a single person or I have a manufacturing director job, those sort of things. Logistic regression is a little bit more interesting. This is a new model for me. Uh, you can see it's got a really high accuracy, really high uh, specificity, but the sensitivity could be a little bit higher on this one because it uses regression gives me the coefficient analysis and like it tells me how significant uh, those factors are for the slope for what's driving uh, retention. Model evaluation metrics definitions are here again for you uh, and this is showing you all together. I think KNN is coming out on top because they've got that overall accuracy is up there, sensitivity is the highest, and specificity is not too bad at 88%. All right, multiple linear regression is the best model for monthly income. Again, I've got uh, uh, the statistics the statistical significance indicators there with the stars and the p-values, that tells me that those are very, uh, very good indicators 
uh, that the slope is not zero there. So that tells me that that's not a flat line for correlation, that the total working years, the job level, and the job role are actually really good predictors of monthly income. And that's actually the adjusted R squared there's 94.7%. That tells me almost 95% of monthly income is described by those three variables, which is wonderful. And then those plots are just telling me that the, the model is predicting and we didn't violate any assumptions. We got a normal, normal distribution, uh, standard variance, no major outliers. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about performance ratings. We only saw threes and fours. We didn't see any ones and twos. That tells me there might be a fear of giving a low score and we might need to talk to management about how they're uh, uh, appraising people. We talked about what are the major drivers. We talked about uh, for monthly income and the major drivers of attrition. Some that we didn't talk about though, those employees making less than 5,000 a month, the employees under 30, and the employees with less than five years at a company or five total working years are the most likely to leave. Uh, and then again, KNN is the best prediction model for attrition, and the multiple linear regression is the best for monthly salary. So I look forward to implementing those with you, and this has been a great meeting. You've been a great audience, and that concludes my brief, so thank you.